Okay, so from an overview, very simple overview of SendPepper, we've got our dashboards, contacts, autopilot, messages, and smart forms. So let's jump into SendPepper and have a look at those. Each one of those four are the tabs, dashboard, contacts, autopilot, messages, and the smart forms, I'll show you where to find that as well. So let's jump in now. If we go and have a look at SendPepper, this is SendPepper. Okay, and here are the tabs across the top, dashboard, contacts, autopilot, messages. Okay, and what you'll find is that when you log in, um, likely it'll take you straight to the contacts tab. Okay, if you ever want to change that, I think it's in settings. But your menu here, SendPepper has the same type of look and feel on each page. So for each page, each one of these tabs, you have a new whatever it is, so new message, new autopilot, new sequence, new contact in the top corner here, new. You can access your admin settings here, the settings of your account for you up here, and help if you ever want it, it has a very good help section within SendPepper here. Now, that's the overview, okay? And let me go through each one of these very quickly for you. So dashboard. Let's look at the dashboard. You can set this up however you want for your own business. Um, but if I was to do a quick date range and if I was to go back and say all time, then it shows me when I used SendPepper for about 18 months, I had 700 contacts into my system and it shows you the months and when that happened. Okay. And um, the email sent total 9,571 emails. Um, in the last 30 days, it's blank because I've moved my system over to Infusionsoft. Um, and I've done that purely for a geographical reason, New Zealand um, payment gateway with my e-commerce. But SendPepper, I've used very great tool, love this tool to bits. Um, and you can also see top messages of um, how many people it was sent to, the open rates, etc. Now you can change this dashboard to be whatever you want for your business. Okay, I very rarely looked at the dashboard, to be honest with you. I spent most of my time in these three, in the contacts, autopilot, and messages. So let's go to the contacts. As I said to you um, in the differences between SendPepper and Aweber video, the way to get contacts into this system um, is either through a smart form or manually add. Okay, I'll come back and we'll do a whole video on contacts in a second. Autopilot, this is where your sequences are. So each one of these is a sequence. Okay, an autopilot sequence that you can see, I've got a big list here. Okay, and messages is where you write your messages um, for reuse, whether individual broadcast or whether you put them as part of your autopilot. And I have 262 messages written in here. Okay, they're the key four tabs. And if we go to admin up here, and if we look in admin, then you can see some extra options in here. Um, the main one that you're going to use is you manage smart forms, okay, to be able to create smart forms and put them on your website. And the other one that you're going to want to check on is the email from email address here, okay, which is where you'll put your email addresses in so that when it sends, it comes from your email address. Okay, so they're the two key things um, within the admin. Uh, and that's the overview. So now you can uh, start to have a play and have a look around and the next set of videos will be taking you step by step on how to get started.